Hello, fan fans. This is the PC Expert Amateur with a Fractal Design Aspect 14 PWM. And yes, the box came damaged like that. I had to do a little, sur uh, little plastic surgery on it, so to speak. And um, we'll see if this fan is any good. Uh, fa Fractal Design is much more famous for their cases than for their fans. So... Judging by the specifications for this fan, it is okay, actually, for a, a fractal design fan. Not amazing, to, but de surprisingly good for the fan. Fans. And it's a very subdued look. It does have... Um, what appears to be cushioning, but that is just, <laughs> it's fake. There's no cushioning. And it is uh, PWM, and you can daisy chain it. Let's listen. Let's get ready to rotate. All right, here we go. That's rock bottom there, so any noise you're hearing is from my computer. Getting some harmonic resonances in this, from this. There's another one. If the harmonic resonances bother you, you're definitely going to want to make your fan curve so that it skips past those points really quickly or those uh, RPMs really quickly. So um, how about this, the power? It's actually pretty good. Let's say uh, it's a it's a bit over two. Let's uh, say that we can use this for cases and for air coolers. I wouldn't use it on a water cooler though. Let's look at the specs. Alrighty, the Fractal Design Aspect 14 PWM FD-F-AS1-1403. Uh, it's Sixteen dollars for this fan. Uh, I'm you're not going to have an easy time finding it anymore. Um, perhaps uh, I'm not quite sure on that. I did manage to find it on their website. I just don't know how available it is. I got it on on um, performance PCs. Uh, C E R O H S U Underwriter Laboratories and ECM certifications made in China, 140 by 25 centimeter or millimeters, 90,000 hours and a two-year warranty. So that's not too bad for fractal design. And the weight is 155 grams, seven blades, 125 millimeters between the holes, 500 to 1700 RPMs, and 20 to 78 CFMs of airflow or 34 to 132.5 uh, centimeters per hour, 0 0.3 to 2.05 millimeters of water static pressure, 10 to 35 and a half decibels of noise, 50 centimeter fan cable. Uh, you can daisy chain, it's not sleeved. PWM, rifle bearing, so. This is one of the ones that when it dies, it dies. So if you can take, if you are able to take it apart, and I don't know if that's possible, but if you are able to take it apart, then you will definitely want to periodically remove it, bathe it in some oil, put it back together again so it will stay lubricated. 
and it's got 12 volts starting at 7, 2.16 watts, 0.24 amps, no indicators for rotation and flow, turns in a clockwise direction, four screws included. Thank you to Grindler, a.k.a. Lawrence Abrams, who is the owner of Bleeping Computer for consenting to allow me to put my results in text form on Bleeping Computer's forums, as well as linking to my videos. Please visit Bleeping Computer, support them, make use of them. It's, they're a valuable resource that's been around for 20 years, and they deserve support. They have lots of resources. Um, you can learn about cybersecurity from them. You can get help with uh, malware on your computer. You can get help with all kinds of stuff. They have a, a range of volunteers uh, who help people who come there for advice, and they're very knowledgeable people for the most part, and some of them are very, very, very helpful. Old Todd has been uh, very helpful to me over the years uh, that I have asked for input on uh, things and so thank you to Bleeping Computer. Thank you to the volunteers on Bleeping Computer. Also, thank you to my peers on other tech forums who are so kind as to provide me with input, uh, suggestions, feedback, and so on. Uh, I really appreciate it, but my greatest thanks goes out to Bleeping Computer because you are my tech's home, I guess you could say. All right, thanks also to all my viewers and subscribers. Appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.